Hello, I'm Sonic. We will learn about terminology of circle. A circle is a shape consisting of all points in a plane that are a given distance from a given point, the center, equivalently it is the curve traced out by a point that moves in a plane so that its distance from a given point is constant. This can be found in terms of Euclidean geometry. The definition of circle is stated by Euclid of Alexandria. A circle is a plane figure bounded by one curved line, and such that all straight lines drawn from a certain point within it to the bounding line, are equal. The bounding line is called its circumference and the point, its center. Let's find out the terminology. In terms of perimeter. First, in a circle. The center, shows it's the point equidistant from the circle. Secondly, a line which is drawn from the center to the edges of the circle. This is called a radius, or its half diameter. Thirdly, if another radius is drawn straight from the first radius, it is called a diameter of the circle. Fourthly, if it's much less than its diameter, a line segment whose end points lie on the circle, thus dividing a circle into two segments. This is called a chord. Fifthly, if the chord is extended, but not approaching to its diameter, a coplanar straight line, intersecting a circle in two points. This is called a secant. Sixth, a coplanar straight line that has one single point in common with a circle, it is therefore called a tangent. Seventh, an arc, that is any connected part of a circle. Specifying two end points of an arc in a center allows for two arcs that together make up a full circle. Eighth, the length of one circuit along the circle, that is 2 pi r, called the circumference. Now in terms of area. Ninth, the one of the two possible arcs determined by the end points of a diameter, taking its midpoint as center. This is called a semicircle. Its area is half of pi times r squared. Tenth, a region bounded by two radii of equal length with a common center and either of the two possible arcs, determined by this center and the end points of the radii. That is called a sector, depending on this angle theta in which it makes a difference as the radius sweeps. Eleventh, one of the two possible arcs determined by the end points of a diameter, taking its midpoint as center. This is called a segment. That area can be less than its semicircle. Number 12, a ring-shaped object, the region bounded by two concentric circles. This is called annulus. In annulus, we take two radii r1 and r2. Thus the formula is, pi times, r2 squared minus r1 squared. And number 13, the whole region of the plane bounded by a circle, called a disk. The entire disk is of full area pi r squared. So there are eight parametric features and five area features of a circle. Hence the terminology shows it 13 total features. Like, comment, and subscribe now on YouTube.